I lost count of days. I guess it is the second week of war in Ukraine. It's difficult to function when Russia eliminates once called brotherly Ukraine, destroys their beautiful cities, kills their brave people. I wish Russian citizens to be braver, to go to the streets, not to be afraid to protest, to demand a new government. It's not enough to add peace hashtags on Instagram under the photo depicting their regular life. Even if now you can be arrested for the hashtag no war and it's sick, it's wrong and it's hard to believe that communal workers in St. Petersburg paint over the words no war on the eyes of the Moika River. I want to ask you not to comment about the constant wars in the world. I was also upset about Syria, Yemen, Ethiopia or Afghanistan, but I have never been there. And I have been many times to Kiev, to Odessa, and to Donetsk, where my grandparents live. I admire the Carpathian Mountains. I enjoyed vacations on the Black Sea coast. When I was a kid, I was going to the summer camp in Crimea. I was planning a trip in Ukraine with my friend this summer. I guess another time when Ukraine will become even stronger and more beautiful. Why I started a video dedicated to Kotman watercolors with Ukraine? Because I want you to talk to your family, friends or followers and help spread the news of Russia acting like a fascist country, performing ethnic cleansing in Ukraine. They don't protect Russian speaking population, they destroy cities. Ukrainians are forced to flee. Innocent people die. Many Russian citizens don't believe it. The propaganda is strong. Media is controlled by the government. And it was for many years like this. People believe the only thing they ever heard. That Russia brings peace and they act like heroes. They don't call it war, but a special operation. This is invasion. This is war. This is ethnic cleansing. This is a crime against humanity. Don't call it special fucking operation, please. I also would like to ask you not to spread hate towards simple Russians. Surely there are some supporting Putin, but there are people who are afraid, who are hostages of the regime. There are many young and courageous people who try to fight back. Many of them are now arrested. The last thing I want to ask you is to be smart and don't believe the first thing you read or hear. Don't believe my words. Seek credible sources, analyze, compare. Critical thinking is now more important than ever. And be kind and patient with people who have different opinion. Thank you for listening to me. I will switch now to the part uh, about Kotman watercolor tubes. My plan is to mix the tube paint with some honey, glycerin and distilled water. Yes, I am giving my Kotman watercolors and tubes another chance. The first time I poured the paints in half pans. Those few colors I had dried up quickly and it was frustrating to rewet them. I had a limited amount of colors, the colors bought without a second thought. I decided to add a few more tubes to make the palette more usable. I heard that the earth colors are actually more pigmented and easier to rewet than other Cotman colors. So I mixed a drop of honey with some glycerin and distilled water. I added water to make it easier to mix wet paints with glycerin without adding too much of it. I didn't care for how long the pans will dry for, it's really not humid in my room. I chose quarter pans for this experiment. It's the first time I have ever added glycerin to watercolor paints. I have a cute tiny box to reuse and uh, make it home for the Kotman quarter pens. I can only put nine colors. So I will be doing a color chart to see all the mixes. Keep watching to see which two colors won't make it. I'm not sure I will be buying more Kotman tubes. Maybe only yellow ochre or raw sienna. Which one would you recommend if tried them? As you can see, different colors have different consistency of the paint. 
I think it's normal because pigments are different and each pigment requires different amount of the binder. The pigments are not separated, there is no binder leaking. I am overall satisfied with how Cotman tubes behave. Most of the tubes I have are the new ones produced in China, but there are also some old ones I bought in a small local shop years ago without even realizing it. The design of the tubes is different, but I can't say that they are better or more pigmented. As for the look, I like the new one more. After I mix the paint with the honey and glycerin solution, I let the paint dry for about a week. I'm always glad to have a chance to swatch some watercolors. I will start with swatching them fresh from the tubes, and in the second round I will be swatching the paint from the quarter pens.
The pants look half empty or half full, depending on how positive your views are. That was expected, also because I added distilled water when mixed paints with glycerin and honey. Anyways, the most important thing. It all worked out. It's easy to re-wet. Even if there are some cracks in the pants, the paint is still easy to be picked up with a brush. I didn't pre-wet the pants. I went directly with a wet synthetic brush and did a few swirls. What I can say, I'm pretty happy with my little experiment and how it all turned out.
Yes, you're a good 